Hi, dear Munz. It is always a pleasure to sit here and talk with you and, and go over good stuff. I know a lot of you are out there working and helping others. It's just amazing. Every day we have people visit us here that are out helping others. Some want to help in kitchens and help in prisons and help in hospitals to change dietary considerations, which is great. Others are out there practicing and helping others get well. And so it's just a great thing. So uh, keep it up. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And those of you that are hurting, Get deep inside of you and grab yourself, grab it, and fight through this. Because if you've been on a lifetime of steroids and pharmaceuticals to fight pain and things, it can warp you out. And we just see this every day here now with more and more people getting warped out on these chemical medications. And it's your world. No one can help you but yourself in, in reality. So dig deep and ride the bull, ride it until you get yourself well. Because there's only real one road to well, Bill, and that's reversing how you got to hell, Bill. That's simple. Just back up and go reverse. Meaning you can't eat the same things, you can't think the same things. You need to change your lifestyle. You, you start enjoying yourself more. You're just a visitor here, just like we all are. We're here, we're gone. So just look at it that way and play and have fun. Don't hurt anyone. Keep yourself straight and know that everything in your world is self-created. All right, so we're going to do a bunch of eyes. I promised you that. We've got Drew here. We're going to do some eyes for you. Uh, I wish I could do more for you that way, but I wanted to address this quad that I addressed before. He wrote me, and I wanted to uh, address him here. Uh, let me see. One of his questions, he said, you said to have already helped reconnect their spinal cord C4, C5. I actually had a C3, C4 spinal cord injury uh, that we reconnected totally. C3, C4, an amazing case. Uh, so that's a, just a, a, a next higher level here. And she did manage to wean herself off a ventilator. And I forget how she said she did. One of very few C3, C4 quads that are all ventilators. Anyway, he said to help people connect their spinal cord C4, C5. It is reversible by simple natural means, uh, according to you. And is that in some individuals, this reconnection is impossible? I don't know what to say about that. I haven't seen anything impossible. I think if you live with the world impossible, you'll never get it. I think you have to change that idea of impossibilities. Because as a spinal cord uh, uh, individual, you know one thing's for sure. There's nothing on this planet to help you. So who cares? Challenge me. Challenge yourself. Because there's nothing out there. Stand aid devices, you'll be doing that to hell freezes over. That's not going to regenerate tissue. And of course, I, I watched it with Christopher Rees playing the stand aid issue and Miami Project and all these projects like that. They're not any good. You can play with electronic devices, but your body is a regenerator. Learn that. Learn that physics and chemistry rule the day in this physical universe. And that if you apply those, those laws to your health issues, you'll find something too cool. And that is regeneration of tissue, whether it's trauma or acid induced from your lymphatic systems. You know, either one. And I say jump in full board because there's nothing else out there. And at the very least, if you could never reconnect, you know, everything will be cool because you will have some degree of changes to where your, your, your stools will be better, everything's better. I don't know if you're still on your own, you need help, but everything just gets better, better, better. The decubitize, you don't get bed sore or, you know, anymore. There's just so many things that are better, better. You don't get the skin things, the spasticity is low, all the things that are involved that you know you have to deal with because you're sedentary. So your lymph system and kidneys, and why, why did your body not repair your injury in the first place? You know, because the AMA can't fix anything, we walk around thinking that nothing can be fixed. And, oh, look, somebody's over here regenerating. That must be voodoo. No, it's not. This is physics and chemistry in action. Understand the most two sides of chemistry and energetics. And you're talking about a neurological system here. So all of that. And keep in mind that your, your cerebral spinal fluid is the lymphatic stuff. Let me see here. Uh, do you think I could get in touch with those people who have... Uh, help to heal absolutely and there's one youtuber he was a paraplegic though big deal well you know either way it's just location location right little big deal in terms of mobility but 
get a hold of him. He was on the YouTube. He got walking in what, in uh, six months or something. I can't remember his name, but we could look it up. I could get that information to you. And then you see the Rogers. Matter of fact, get our video. Even though you'll see the C3, C4, and she's not living with us anymore, but see what she got accomplished. And you'll really dig on that. That's pretty, that's cool. That was the most interesting case that I had was a C3, C4. Head-on car crash, complete, complete spinal cord severation. Totally plated up and scarred up like crazy. Had no feeling anywhere. I moved her wheelchair with her tongue. And I can tell you, she had feeling every single place on her body. Regenerated herself. New neural pathways. Amazing stuff. But when you think about it, that's nature. You get damaged, then why the nervous system? Why is the nervous system such a hard sell for practitioners to regenerate? Because you can't do it on cooked dead food. You can't do it on the type of lifestyle people are eating. That's what's making everybody sick. you got to go to the living foods that are vibrantly, uh, energetically alive and chemically proper. And when you do that, now your body is feeding off of that and it loves to be well. But you can't judge the world out there with what's going on because nobody regenerates because everybody's eating cooked dead food, dead animals and stuff like that. And you're not going to regenerate anything. And in fact, we showed you, and you can prove it on yourself. Get yourself on a, a, on a fruititarian diet for about six months, and then take a knife and cut yourself. See if it hurts, see if you bleed, see how that is, and then just start eating meat again, and then do the same thing and show you the difference. It'll be in your face to why healing is proper on a fruit diet, and you don't see it on a highly acidic, putrefactive type diet. You don't see that. And you're not going to because you see decay on the acid side of chemistry. And if you wallow in the acid side of the, of the fills, uh, you're going you're gonna to pay those prices. And that's what people are doing. They're playing too much on the acid side of the fence. And then medical doctors are just giving you more acids. So everybody's playing in acids and wondering why they're getting burnt and hurt. Wrong side of chemistry. It's not the dominant chemistry on the planet. If it was, you and I wouldn't be talking here. So I would jump into this, my friend. What do you got to lose? Nothing. And you ain't going nowhere either. So you might as well get in there. Because if someone gives me any hope, I'm on it. I'm on it. Because I'm not going to sit in a friggin' chair all my life. So I'm going to investigate anything. And when I talk about regeneration, explain it to me. And I've taken a lot of videos to explain to you guys how you regenerate. All you got to do is sit your butt down and ride the ride. It's fun. And, and it makes you feel good. And especially anybody stuck sedentarily, whether it's a MS or any type of spinal cord injury or any type of neurological condition, you ain't going anywhere. So what to lose in taking on the concept of regeneration? So have fun with this. All right. So we're going to go do a bunch of eyes right now. And so I'm going to come around. You know what I want to do, uh, Drew, is I want to start off showing a little bit about this, the limp system again. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm going to throw a few eyes up just a little bit, but we teach you more in level uh, two. So let me get a few of my props going here. This is a real bad limp system here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want to see the sulfurs? True brown eyes. Okay. All right. Ooh, this is a pretty eye right here. Okay, here we go. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Yeah. Now, for a minute, you guys might want to take a picture of these. This is the best chart I can tell you because I like Dr. Jensen's chart or a typical iridology chart. I don't agree with German iridology, so I don't use their charts. They're pretty similar though, basically. You know, I mean, people can argue over what's what, but truthfully, they're pretty similar. Uh, but these are the charts. This is from New Zealand, and this is a good, good, good chart to show you all the different parts that they found. Remember, iridology is a simple science discovered by a surgeon in the mid-1800s. Uh, and it's a simple, a simple understanding that the nervous system, which we were just talking about, sends messages. And these messages are frequency messages that 
have color, shape, size, everything. When you look at frequencies and you look at energetics, it has everything within those frequencies from sound, colors, everything within these individual frequencies. And so it's easy to understand that the communication from the cell to the brain is there. How does the brain know how to send hormones or steroids or whatever to the cells? Because there's a communication between the cells and the brain. So why would you not understand then that that same pathway, the autonomic pathway that hits into the optic nerves in the back of the skull, also translates those same electrical frequencies to the iris? And it does, and that's just what they found. So what you're seeing is simply a reflection of the condition of the cells. So how do we look at that? And so this is how the latest charts are developed. What they found, the body parts where you have the head up, up, up upstairs here, notice right around the pupil is the stomach area. That's your stomach, right around the pupil. That's generally about an eighth to a quarter of an inch wide. And then immediately outside of the stomach is wrapped the gut. The large bowels are wrapped on the outside of the eye. And then the small bowels on the inside. This is very predominant on most eyes. And when we get to the eyes, I'll show them to you. But this area is predominant most of the time because that's where man's biggest karma is, is right here. This is where man has literally ruined his gut tissue with all the dead animal meats and all the high protein diets and the grains and the sticky gluey gluten proteins and stuff like this. It's all about bad proteins and this is just what's happened. All the dairy proteins have filled the body full of mucus, have filled the bowel walls full of mucoid plaque. The lymph systems are backed up in the bowel walls, getting malabsorption. These bowels are prolapsed in most people, spastic, uh, all, 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 all types of bad ways. So this is a basic chart for you to go by. I'm just going to do this one more time to show you what the lymph system looks like in an eye. Now, this would be considered a strong constitution and a fairly decent lymphatic eye here. Now, notice this is a blue eye. And you can see all these little fibers that emanate out from the pupil, like a wagon wheel or a wire wheel, where you have all the little spokes that emanate out from the hub to the outer rim. And that's what you have here. Underneath these are the rods and cones. Here's your GI tract. This one's a little small, but it goes right around the pupil. Now, in this eye, you'll see a little bit of white a little bit of white stuff here building up here. It looks like a little white cloud, not real thick, but a little white cloudy stuff here. That's the lymphatic system, and it's the only way you're going to see the lymph system. The lymph system exposes itself on top of these fibers. If I go to the eye next to it, notice how much more white it is. See all this thick white stuff? And if I get out toward the outer rim, which is the skin, notice that big dark, dark ring around there? That's the skin. Remember, your skin is one of your kidneys. And so when you see a dark rim, that means you have weak skin because all tissue is made of cells. So this is a weak skin, probably not filtering. So the lymph system has locked in here, and all this thick, thick white stuff is lymph. And all these little dots, you see all these little dots, white dots? Those are lymph nodes. And when you start to see your lymph nodes stuck like that for years, that's the concern. So people that that are unaware of this, have a lifetime of this, then we have to come in and try to break this stuff loose. And it's just a tough, tough sell. Here's another eye with a lot of lymph in it. Now, notice that there's orange in this eye. Well, whenever you have lymphatic problems, you always have bacterial problems. And the simple reason is lymph is your sewer system, and you're always going to have bacterium helping you to break this system down because it deals with acid waste from the cells. So, medical doctors don't understand that, of course, and they, instead of cleaning your terrain for you and getting rid of the acids and the inflammation, they go after your helpers. They go after the bacteria, and this is probably from sulfa drugs, antibiotics. And we know that, we've discussed this uh, many times in, in these videos, that this is not a good thing. This is gassy, bloaty stuff. You always feel gassy, bloaty. You'll have high fungal problems with this, and that's, that's sulfa drugs. And it's in, in, in everyone there. Take a look at this white eye. 
I was just drawing the bow, the shape of the bow in this eye, just to give you some idea how aberrated it is. That's a prolapsus. When you see this bow wall sinking toward the pupil, that's a prolapsed condition. When you see a little pocketed areas, you could have pocketed areas. Uh, spastic areas are like a V almost, where you have a spastic area in the bow, meaning your bow gets down about that big around. But all this white, when you get a client like this and it's thick with white, they're going to be a while. That's a lot of work to get someone out of there. Well, this is all acidosis and uh, real bad. Now, take a look at this brown, thick brown ring around this pupil. That's a malabsorption ring, meaning this lymph system is so backed up, it's backed up in the bowel wall as well. And since that, you can absorb your nutrition through thick mucus. That's why when you start detoxifying, you start to see mucus threads coming out of your stool. Lots and lots of mucus. And it's all from these, these foods and stuff. Okay, let me show you another thing here. What color of an eye are we looking at? We're looking at a blue eye. See the blue? But look at all this brown. This brown is sitting on top of the blue like a, like a rain cloud over the landscape. And that's just what this is. This thick, thick brown stuff is heavy lymph. And by the way, this is uh, Colonel's wife here, but uh, this uh, lady, uh, it was solid brown, and I only saw one little speck of blue in her eye. This is her second picture after three months of detox. But her first, I just saw a little speck of blue, and I looked at her, and I said, Honey, your eyes are blue. And she looked at me, and she says, You're nuts. Just like that. Well, her husband's a colonel, and I, I, my hair kind of went up in the back of my head, and I said, you know, I'll bet you $100 a day you were born to have blue eyes. And she looked at me, and she says, you know, my mother said I did have blue eyes the day I was born. So when she came back, she couldn't believe her eyes were starting to turn blue again. Here's another blue eye. Look at all this thick, thick, thick lymph here. See all that thick thickness right in there? Some of it's brown, some of it's yellow. Well, there's four stages. There's acute, subacute, chronic, and degenerative. The acute stages are basically the simple stages. You're just now creating inflammatory problems. You got a little clear mucus going on and build up a mucus. But when it becomes subacute, you're, you become unaware that you have a problem. You start to swell. You start to, the eyes start to turn yellow. And then you start to move toward, and that can be a, a state of hyper or hypoactivity within the tissues. However, when we get to the chronic stages, you can always count out that being hypo. And all this brown in a blue eye is, of course, chronic, chronic stages. When you see black in any eye, that's degeneration. And you don't want to see black in an eye as much as you can help. And these are just more of eyes that are thick and thick. Now look at the sinuses. The sinuses in the head area are on top, of course. And so look at the thickness of this head area given down below. And it shows you how difficult it is uh, for the head area to keep itself drained. Even though they found the new lymphatic system and it deals with the cerebral spinal fluid, you could probably correlate that with weaknesses down the back. But all these patterns, you see all these patterns? You don't see patterns in this eye, but look at these patterns here. Look at all these patterns. These are lacunas or crypts, depending how deep they are. Uh, you could call them lesions, you could call them uh, iris patterns, uh, who cares? But, the deeper, the darker, the more serious. Now notice this one we're looking at right here. Right around this pattern, you see a thick, thick, white or yellowish wall. Dr. Jensen made a comment on this to me. He said, this is, in a genetic weakened area, this is the lymph system not being able to uh, filter well. And boy, was he right on. And that's what happens. In time, if you weren't doing well, this will close this tissue right off and destroy it. Because in nature, the strong survive, the weak are consumed. So when you have a weakness in your body, your body struggles to get rid of it. It's always wanting to rebuild and strengthen. So, and look at an eye like this. We've already showed you this eye before. This, this eye has nothing healthy in it. This is a blue eye. You see there's no straight, straight... Uh, uh, patterns here whatsoever. So this is a case where at age 30 she had cervical cancer, at age 32 she had thyroid cancer, and she came to me at age 34 with pancreatic cancer. And by the way, she's still alive and well today with no pancreatic cancer, but it took me a year to do it. 
this is a tough case, no question about it. But when you have everything weak in your body, you're in trouble. I put her in a hammock and nothing, nothing but juices because she wasn't digesting anything. Now, one more thing we'll show you. This is a true brown eye. And how you see the limp in a brown eye is variations of brown. So if you'll notice, you have a lighter brown in places and then you have a darker brown in places. And this, this, notice these little rings here, like the age rings on a tree? That's your nervous system, and you always see it when you see chronic adrenals. And this is a chronic adrenal right there, kidney and adrenals right there. And, of course, now you have the nervous system being impacted. When you see these sort of things, of course, you know your clients are working, or you are walking toward MS, Lou Gehrig's, or something like that. Your energy, you're going to have chronic fatigue, you're going to have all these things. All right. Now, with that said, uh, okay, so we're over these questions. So what I'm going to do here, I've got so many of these, I'm going to try, you guys are going to have to pick out your own eyes here a little bit, because I'm going to try uh, to, to deal with these. Okay, now I don't know, the name on this is Joe's mother. So Joe's mom, it's a little dark for us to see here. You can put a little more light in here and you'll lighten this eye up. But the one thing that shines out real bright on these eyes is you see that, that white, uh, uh, it's almost like a white rope that goes around the pupil. What is that? We just talked about it. What is that white rope around the eye? That's the limp system backed up in, in the intestinal wall. So when you see that, you're always going to see a brown ring around the pupil, which is a malabsorption ring. And so now you know what causes malabsorption. It's a back to the lymph system again. Well, how do you get that loose? Because that's, that's probably locked in there really, really good. That's why the GI broom. Stringents. And of course, we're trying to hydrate those areas interstitially, meaning around the cells, to loosen it up because acids suck out, dehydrate, burn the electrolytes, and lock things, make things hard like rocks. Well, you've got to loosen things up sometimes to get them out. Anybody ever had a dry cough and you're pulling and pulling and you can't get anything up? That's exactly why. And after a while, it breaks loose and you cough it up. Older people can crack their ribs doing that. So it only makes sense to start hydration. This is all acidosis. So you see the lymph system building up in the body here. This is, and I'm just going to go through this real quick. Here's the thyroid. Here's the throat problem. You want to fix this throat problem because this is the throat and a little impaction on the upper C-spine. This is your lumbar spine down here with inflammation. This is the uterus right here. I would get in there and detox that and strengthen the vaginal wall. You have the kidneys right here. Over here, you have the groin and uh, appendix. And then you have the hip. So she's got a right hip going on. You've got to get these kidneys going. I would get in the gut, open up this lymph system here. Now this is the pituitary area and the pineal. So this is real close to the pituitary or pineal. I can't tell which one. It's enough to say either she, does, she has insomnia, then it's her pineal gland. And you want to go after that. You can you go after that with the pineal glandular and take one or two a couple hours before sleep. Um, we got some bronchioles there. This is, looks like right ear. Going here on the right side, the forehead is full of mucus and stuff. Where are we looking it's at? Upside down. You want me to look at right here? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, this is this one's upside. Oh, yep, this one's upside down. All right. <laughs> You're right. All right. Sorry, mom. I had you upside down. Well, you see this little blood vessel here? That's going right to your your lower back, and that's your lower back on the left side, and this is your mid-back. Here's your kidney and adrenals on the left side. Uh, this is your left chest wall here. So there's some weaknesses in the left breast area, so be careful with that. A lot of mucus in the bronchial trunks here. Again, there is a little bit of pineal. Uh, be careful with this. This is the mastoid area there. But you've got good genes, Mom. you just got your skins down here. You're not filtering. It might tie into this thyroid over here. So you want to get your thyroid up and invigorate yourself. Your sclera isn't as white as it should be. You have all these blood vessels. That's inflammation through your body, but this is all your lymph system. So you got good genes. you got a lymph down. And I take it, this is Joe. So that's Joe's mom. And look how close Joe looks to Joe's mom. 
Look at those eyes, Joe. So you can see mom. However, Joe's got a little more going right on in here than mom does, and that looks to me like rectal wall and rectal flexure. If that's your rectal flexure, you want to work on your gut a little bit because this is a common place for the medical terminology of cancer. You have a little spasticity right here, either in your groin or where your femur goes into the hip there. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't care. You don't want to call him, right? Oh, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to Tom. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to work on the letter. Okay. Uh, again, we got lymph nodes, Tom. Look at these lymph nodes out here by your skin. You have that skin ring like your mom. And you got lymph nodes right here down your left chest wall here. Your heart's got a lot of congestion in there, so you want to detox your lymph system out there. It'd be easy to get congestive heart failure in your future, so be careful here. Thick lymph down your back. I don't know if your back is stiff and tight, but you got a lot of lymph down your back here, Joe. You want to get that. Here's Joe's, well, that's, that's left. Uh, here's Joe's right. Okay, so here we go, Joe. Chronic adrenal. See that adrenal gland? It's almost black here, so you got to take care of that adrenal gland, Joe. Uh, kidneys right down below. Uh, here's your groin area. Uh, you've got a, a pancreatic weakness right here and a, and a right testicle. Um, bronchial trunk again, kind of like mom, but you got your, you're building up in your lungs, Joe. You've got to clean out your lungs here. You've got some lymph nodes swollen in your lungs. As a matter of fact, all three lobes on your right side here. Again, here's pituitary with Joe here, and almost like mom. Right side, pituitary, pineal, throat. Here's your throat weakness that mom has. A little bit of skin again. So we've got good, fairly good genes, guys. You just got to get into the lat lymph system and clean this up. Get into upper circ, brain and nerve. You got a couple spots in the head area. Not bad, though. But get up in there and clean that up. Get your skin breathing and everything else, and you'll be in good shape. Okay, this is something I went over and asked for them to send me in the eyes. And uh, let's see, uh, she's Italian, she loves pasta pizza and all the good stuff like that. Uh, she's having digestive issues since she was born. Uh, her mother always told her when I was an infant I was very sick because I used to vomit every time I ate. And maybe we talked about that and what they're doing to the babies that are doing that now, the new knitting procedure where they tie the stomach around the esophagus and then shoot Botox up the butt. This is ridiculous, crazy stuff. So she has esophageal reflux. They're framing the pylori, of course, obvious, uh, stuff like that. Uh, She's got tintinitis, osteosclerosis. Uh, let me see what else I'm looking through here. Yeah. So let's take a look, <coughs> excuse me, let's take a look at this eye here. Okay, now let's look here. Right around this bow wall, you've got some of these little radii solaris. Radii solaris are these little black lines that emanate out from either the pupil or the bow. These are genetic lines. They do emanate a little bit up into the transverse bow. Uh, not really bad here. You've got great genes here, but what color eye is this one? What color eye do you think this one is? This is either light, light brown, or blue. Really hard to tell. I'm going to guess they're blue, but you won't know for sure until you start moving this lymph system out of here. But you can almost see the blue shining through here in places, or green. Green, there is no green in a blue in a brown eye whatsoever. Pupil's a little small, but you've got great genes here. If I want to pick on you, you've got a gallbladder right there, not happy. So you want to, do, you want to deal with that and get that gallbladder. Here's the ileocecal valve. So you just want to tone the bowels up. Here's a pan. I'm either looking at the pancreas. I'm not mapping these out because it just takes way too long. I'm either looking at a little right hip or pancreatic. So, <coughs> excuse me, take that into consideration. That's definitely a gallbladder. 
it got, you got, your kidneys aren't genetically weak so much, but you got thick, thick lymph backed up in your kidneys. That'll break them down. That's acids in the kidney itself. That'll break them down. You do have some nerve rings here, not a lot of them, but that shows the adrenals are down too, and your nervous system's down. A lot of congestion in the throat, in the skin, really backed up in the skin. Um, stomach, so-so. Uh, you have to be careful about cholesterol in your world. You're starting to get a little violet hue up here. See that little violet hue? And a little bit of coming cataracts possibly, so you want to be careful with that. It's poor circulation. And the next thing, it'll change itself into a uh, translucent uh, cholesterol ring. Again, skin is down. Good genes here. Thick lymph. If this is a blue eye, you can know how much lymph you got to deal with. If you're brown, you're real light brown. And that's okay. But you want to get into those bowels and clean them out. you got a little malabsorption going on. Most of the darker brown is around the bowel wall here, just like we said before. You've got some nerve weakness here. cuts through the left chest as well. But not bad. This is a good eye to deal with, get healthy. This is a groin area here. Here's your adrenal on the left side, much better. Uh, so you got to get your skin to open up. That's a little thyroid. But here's thyroid lymph is heavy into the thyroid. Open that up. Get all this opened up here. Get your lymph moving. Get yourself sweating because you got great eyes. Great eyes. But you got to get into that gallbladder and liver just a little bit. This is unknown. No name was signed to this. Uh, so let's take a look at these. There should be enough light in that one. All right, so here we have the same thing. See this thick white around the pupil? Again, the GI tract is a very bad area in most people, and this is essential to drain the head area, is to get into this gut, because it sits right on top. The head sits right on top. As you see up in the brain area, you've got a couple of weaknesses up here. See these patterned areas here? These are weaknesses, and this is up in the cerebellum and the mastoid area, so you have to be careful. This is equilibrium dizziness area here. you got inflammation up in that area, and you're starting to get a lip node swelling right up there, so be real careful here. Here's a little pituitary weakness with a lot of inflammation in your pituitary. Drain your sinuses, because that can create a pituitary tumor. You want to be real careful. And here's also pineal gland. So here's another person probably has restless nights and uh, pituitary going right over to the parathyroid and thyroid. Big time want to work on those. You definitely want to work on your parathyroid here. This is throat, so you got a little throat weakness going on. Upper neck here. You got lymph nodes swollen down your back. This is skin again. Not too bad. Most of this is shadowing. Uh, here we have a groin, a little bit of a kidney here on this side, a little prostate if this is a male. Uh, I'd say that your hip, you got a lot of inflammation in the hip. The gallbladder stuff don't look too bad. Bronchial trunks maybe a little bit here. We come over here on the left side of your body, the same thing. See how thick you are in the gut? You're malabsorbed here. You want to move all this mucus out of your bowels and stomach area because this is really shutting down your, your GI tract. Here's lymph nodes in your back. This is, you've got uh, down your left side of your spine, you've got weaknesses all down that back. Throat, you've got throat. C spine, T spine, L spine, S spine. So you've got all, all involved here. A little more kidney on this side here. Kidney, groin, spleen. You want to think about your spleen. If this is a female, your left chest or breast area is, is uh, definitely an issue here. Weak and a lot of uh, inflammation. This cuts through your lower lobe of your uh, left lung and a little weakness in the upper lobe. You have two lobes of lungs on the left side, three on the right. Here's an ear going on and more cerebellum and more pituitary. See all this is frontal lobe of the head. So you got a, a little deterioration maybe up in the frontal head area. Looky here, we're getting into major thyroid here and throat weakness here. This is parathyroid. You want to work on your parathyroid. Look at your skeletal systems are showing exposure all over the place. So you're going to have a, when you start detoxing, you're going to have a real sore throat one of these times. I can just tell you, you got enough. Those that have weaknesses in your throat or mucus, you're going to end up with a sore throat as you clean all that out. Um, this is bronchial trunk, close to the heart area though. A lot of mucus, congestion in there, so be careful. Okay.
I only got one eye here. This is the left eye. You see, I appreciate uh, you uh, charge for eye reviews, but thought you might find mine particularly uh, intriguing and would love you to quick. Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely, Dan. Uh, absolutely, my friend. Okay, so this is typical out there where one side of the body filters better than another side. So sometimes when you're given a vaccination or a shot of something or, or med, sometimes it infiltrates one side of the body only, and we see a lot of, a lot of that out there. Uh, we have one lady where half her eye is red, whatever that chemical was, and of course she's, she has brain pressure to match it. It's just unreal. This is either a chemical or it looks to me right off as chronic lymph buildup. But it could also be a chemical. It could be a pharmaceutical that you've taken that's lodged in these tissues. But it looks to me also like chronic lymph as opposed to a chemical. If I had to give my best uh, uh, thought on that, I'm going to say this is more chronic lymph. But again, don't take it out to be a chemical. So why do I say detoxification is the golden key? Because it's the only way to get rid of this. And get rid of this you can. You can pull all this out of here. But it's saturated your back. It's saturated up toward your throat, your tonsils, down, down your back. And then this is all groin, kidneys, leg, and groin on the left side. And it's just uh, uh, either a chemical or chronic lymph. And it looks to me like a little more chronic lymph. But again, it acts like a chemical too, hard to say. But look at this in your bowel wall. See that, that rope? You're getting a little yellow there, and that's the subacute stages coming in. Remember, there's four stages: acute, subacute, chronic, and degenerative. This would be considered if this was if this was brown and this was lymph. This would be considered chronic lymph. This would be considered subacute lymph, and this white in here would be considered basically acute. But looking at your left eye here, this is near the spleen, so be careful here with your platelets and your white blood cells, bronchial trunk. Although hearts can move. Again, left chest area weakness, but pretty good genes up here. You know, got a little pituitary going on. This, I say little because, you see, how that's not a real heavy, dark mark up here in the pituitary area. So it's not that weak, but it is weak enough. You want to clean your sinuses up a little bit, get this bowel wall cleaned up, and start absorbing your foods good. Thanks, Dan. Nice eyelashes. Eveline, what do we got here? Right eye, three of three. Wow. Look at wow. That. I like that one. Wow, is it the same person? Mm -hmm. You think that's the same person? Mm, no. Yeah, it is the same person. It's just a different take on the eye. That's why eye pictures are so important. Because take a look at these two eyes. This is actually the same person. When you don't have a good enough eye, you got a lot of reflections and stuff. See how it changes these markings? Like when you see this eye, look at how you can really see her weaknesses or his weaknesses right here. Let's see, oh, this is she. But when you look up here, you can't hardly see them. So it's really having a good picture is everything because if you looked at that and then you looked at that, you'd almost think it was a different eye. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have something similar going on with the left field. See how they can drastically look different? But they're the same eye. Let me see here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's look at these. Well. When if you were judging whether this is a strong constitution, a medium constitution, or a weak constitution, I would say a medium constitution. Now, this, in my opinion, is probably a blue eye. If it isn't, again, it's really light, light brown down here. But it looks blue to me. But again, could be light, light brown. You have to move the lymph a little more so we can see down in this area where the lymph is fairly cleaner than up in this area. Again, her bowel wall is way out here where others are not so much. There's different thoughts on that. But look at all this activity, all these spots right here. And this is the right eye. So this is the forehead. This is all up in the middle areas here. This is the tonsil area, the thyroid area, and the throat area. 
So, you, honey, you got a throat weakness, a thyroid weakness, a parathyroid weakness. Your tonsils there is probably gone or not happy. You see how much, see how light this is here? So, that's either blue or light brown. But your back, you got upper neck, you got this is lower back uh, or coccyx tailbone. You're getting down here toward the bladder area. Here is the uterus. There's a little deterioration, it looks like, in the uterus, if you still have it. A lot of lymph, so that would be endometriosis. Uh, your vaginal wall is full of lymph. You want to clean that up. Your leg here, you've got an upper femur weakness and a lower uh, weakness in the ankle area. Uh, there's your adrenal gland stuck right up in there. Here's your hip, your right hip and pancreatic area. You want to get into those, clean up the bowels here chest area. Now, you want to get up in your brain, sweetheart. This is up in the head area. This is cerebellum here. You got a lot of inflammation in the back of the head. You got some uh, uh, chronic areas up in the brain, to say the very least, in these areas. If you look at this, your left eye, you're thick up in the head area, really thick, lymphatically speaking. And you've got to clean this out of here because that's why you have Alzheimer's, dementia, strokes, all these sort of things. Coming around here, your back is weak and the upper back all the way down to the lower back. We've got, uh, we've got a little bladder involvement right here, kidney, your, your leg here, your left leg is full of lymph and inflammation. Here's a, a groin area, possibly a hip area. Your, your left chest area is weakened area. You want to be careful with that and there's a weakened spleen area there. But up here is your shoulder area, your ear area. Those are areas of genetic weaknesses that you have. So you've got a fair amount of genetic weaknesses that you've got to get in and deal with. And that's the beauty of this. You can get into this body. You can sew these things up and, and get all this stuff out of you. But your bowels are chronic, no question about that. And you just want to get in there, get this skin cleaned up, get your kidneys filtering, and dig in your lymph system there. All right, now what we have here is we have a, a couple of eyes from GK. They're raw, a detox with herbs. My goal is to get back to life. Oh, good, good, good. You guys are good. Maybe into the glands. Let's take a look at this a minute. All right. So, pretty eyes. Very what nice. color have we got? What color eyes do we have? They're green. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah right? <laughs> so, but there's no green in humans, so obviously these are blue eyes. And this is what I'm talking about, a subacute stage. This is a subacute stage of lymph toxicity. See how it's starting to turn yellowish, which is then making yellow and blue together to make green, kind of. So you're starting to see this. But this is a pretty good strong gene person. Uh, I'll say right here, this looks like the upper femur of the right leg going up into the hip area. Uh, right beside it, your kidney and adrenals are actually better than that. And that's a lot of inflammation up in your uh, femur. If I move up here, I'm into your uh, right hip. So there's a little right hip, right femur weakness uh, going on here. Pancreatic weakness going on here. Might translate into a little ovarian weakness on the right ovary, but there's enough lymph there on that right ovary that you could have ovarian cysts coming and going on you. Uh, you might get in a little liver, detox the gallbladder out. You've got a lot of lymph build up in the gallbladder there. You want to get that taken care of. A little minor weakness, chest wall. A build up in your lower lung here. You want to clean your lower lung out. Start breathing down in the abdominal area. Start breathing, pulling oxygen into the lower lung. Don't breathe thoracically. Um, pretty good up here. Just a lot of lymph. See how thick this is? Keeping in mind, that's what her eyes should look like. Let's get that uh, real nice... Uh, blue one here to show you. The pretty one? Yeah, where did I just have that one? There we go. Okay, keep in mind that's your goal color-wise. That's your goal color-wise. But your fibers are nice and straight, but look how thick the limb system is compared to this one. See that thick lymph, and this is all up in your sinus area. So you got real thick lymph in the sinuses and head area. Uh, we're going on the left side just for a minute here. We have a prolapsed uh, uh, transverse bowel, especially over here, uh, proximal to the uh, splenic flexure here. Uh, right along the descending colon, you've got a fair amount of weaknesses, pocketed areas and the like. Uh, some of this is near the heart area, so it could reflect a heart weakness right there. It looks like a little heart weakness. You might want to strengthen the heart up a little bit there. 
Uh, this is the upper lobe, bronchial trunk reaching into the upper lobe of the left lung. You want to clean the bronchial trunks out. Here's your left ear, and you're moving up into your, your ear and mastoid area. Maybe a little shoulder involvement here, too, on the left side. Your chest wall, breast area is thick with lymph here on the uh, left chest area, maybe a tad bit of weakness genetically. The spleen has got a lot of inflammation in it. And all of this is some drug deposits, some sulfur build up here. Now notice, notice up back here at the pupil here, you have a thick, dark ring around that pupil. What does that mean? That's a malabsorption ring. So when you look at malabsorption, you go back up here to the bowel wall. You see this body's full of lymph. Well, so is the bowel wall. And when you start getting in the bowel wall there, you see a little thicker rope right around the bowel wall. And that's why we use that GI broom and stomach and bowel formulas. Not only do we want to clean the bowel wall off, but we want to get into the bowel wall. We want to stringe the bowel wall. This is a little bit of a ballooning and see how you're a little bit of a prolapsus as we enter this sigmoid flexure. And this sigmoid flexure is a little too accentuated. So you got weaknesses around this area. This is the sigmoid and rectal flexure. You want to deal with those. That's a popular place for problems. Groin weakness on the left side. Here's big time. Here's your kidney weakness on the on the left side is more than on the right. But your lymph system's backed up more on the left than on the right. All down your back is heavy lymph. Here's your throat area. So you have a little thyroid weakness, a little throat weakness, a little C-spine weakness. You have little, little spattered weaknesses all down the back. So you want to get down and move that lymph down the back. Use the neurolymphatic points. Open that up. Uh, here is some upper C-spine weakness, a thick mucus in the throat. So again, sore throat's coming probably. A lot of congestion, inflammation, mid-back here, a little lower back genetically. A uh, little vaginal wall weakness, uterine weakness if this is a female. GK, I'm not sure. If it's a male, then that's going to be the prostate area, a little bladder going on here. So you got a little inflammation in the bladder. And you want to see that around the bladder, that thick wall, that's lymph. And that's where you get interstitial. This is where it is. Interstitial what? Cystitis. And that's, that's, that's coming from all these acids in the wall here. As we sneak around here, we're into the liver, gallbladder area. You want to work on those for sure. And maybe a little pancreatic work uh, you might want to do here. So you want to get into your gallbladder, liver, your pancreas, and, and enhance those a little bit up. Get your lower, your lungs cleaned out, your sinuses drained. You know, get into that lymph system, refurbish the bowel. But you notice you, now this is a perfect stomach ring. You shouldn't see this, but when your stomach is very acidic, you start to see this stomach ring. And look at this perfect circle around the eye. It's perfect, perfect stomach ring. I couldn't help but notice it. Yeah, you couldn't help but notice it. Now, look at here, Drew. Here is the stomach. All right? Now, look at this. This is, this is, uh, this is Jensen's Pro Chart. So you see the stomach ring right around the uh, pupil here. Of course, and there it is. So as it turns darker, that's when you start breaking down the stomach tissue and it starts to lose hydrochloric acid and you start to get weaker uh, digestion and things like this. This is highly acidic, but your body is highly acidic and you're in the subacute stages of that. All right. Next folder. Next folder. Sorry, guys. I these are old ones and I apologize dearly, but it's been hard getting to these. So some of these are nice very one. old. Yep, right like a, eye. It looks like a planet. It does. Awesome. Now look at this. Huh. Hold it. All right. Do you see why having good pictures are really, really important? Now these could be two different eyes, but when you look at this, you start to see these patterns match up. <clears throat> Excuse me, these patterns match up. So this is the same eye. Look at the difference in a good picture and a non-good picture. I prefer this picture up here because it's more real color. You see the brown up in here in the GI tract. Remember, right around the pupils, the GI tract. Right here is a knee going here, a right knee. Here's a chronic right adrenal gland. Some weaknesses in the right kidney. This is going to be prostate or uterus, thick lymph in the vaginal wall or the male. 
And then we see little splattered weaknesses up and down the back here and then a throat weakness. This is probably tonsil. I don't think it's parathyroid, but you could clean the thyroid and parathyroids out. But when you get back around here, we're talking about hip. We're talking about pancreas. We're talking about gallbladder. All of that and even probably some of the right arm or shoulder. All of that's involved here genetically. That big weakness scan right in there. Within the bowel structure itself, you've got some pretty good weaknesses you've got to deal with here. So you want to get into your GI tract and bronchial trunks and start cleaning yourself out. I can't see up here. This must be a female. Eyelashes look like a female. But see where this looks orange? This looks brown. If this is orange instead of brown, what is it? Sulfur. But if it's brown, it's chronic length. And we're going to go over here and do the same thing. You see this big area here? Now this is, the, from what I think, this is the left eye. If you didn't have that and you couldn't be able to determine that, it almost looked like a right eye because that's a pretty good kidney weakness if that was. Interesting enough, this is the groin and hip area of this person. Still a big deal here. Serious weaknesses here. The leg is weak on the left side. Then we enter the kidney, the scrotum, the rectal, all in this area right here. Uh, chronic bowels again. It looks like you're getting a cataract there. I don't know. See, it has a little hazy look to the pupil. Uh, that is a tendency to have a cataract there. It could be the heavy light shining, but you are getting a lipid buildup there, so you want to be careful. This is a blue eye, no question about it. Uh, it's a blue eye with chronic bowels, uh, subacute lymph, big time, outside of the bowels, chronic bowels. Uh, this is the, the um, a spleen area. That's a serious weakness within the spleen. You want to make sure your platelets and white blood cells and all that's good. Your spleen cleans your blood into the lymph system. So you want to look at that. This is, if this is a female, this is the uh, left breast area. Don't like that look. So you got a pretty good weakness. If it's a male, you got a problem there. This is probably a heart, genetic heart. It's real close to the heart or bronchial trunk, so you'll have to correlate your symptoms there, but it never hurts to strengthen the heart up. Again, more bronchial trunk and involvement of pressure on the le uh, left uh, shoulder and pressure into the left ear. I can't see up in this area here, but you can with this eye here. So you're heading toward the cerebellum here, the mastoid and cerebellum. This is serious. Uh, these are serious weaknesses here. And this could lead you to Lou Gehrig's or MS because you got the cerebellum involvement, you have the serious adrenal involvement, that sort of thing. You're malabsorbed. So these would be the things to look at and move this lymph out. This eye needs to be blue. This eye needs to look like that one, guys, even though it's upside down. Okay. Okay, I apologize for having to do them this way, but that way I can get a bunch of you covered here. And then, uh, what color of eye do we have? It's obvious, it's a blue. Look at all this orange, heavy orange. And you guys are, that are really into iridology, which I love the science. Look at this orange, and you see this in a lot of your clients, and of course this is heavy, heavy sulfur. Now, if you'll notice, if I come out here to the lymph nodes and skin area, see all this buildup here of lymph and these little round dots of the lymph nodes? Some of them look a little yellowish orange, and it's possible if you see like this orange has traveled up in the brain a little bit more here. That almost tells you that this has probably been in them since they were born. And if you look at this left eye, it's migrated up into the frontal lobe of the head, and up in the center of the brain here a little bit. That's been in them for years. Been in them for years and probably, uh, again, a sulfur drug of some kind, a uh, sulfur substance you've been ingesting. Look at the nerve rings. Look at all the nerve rings. So this is gonna be almost a medium, I'd say between a medium and strong constitution, except, except GI tract and lymph system. Now these, these nerve rings, cut right through the lungs. So you could have asthma or COPD in this case, because again, this would be a neurological connection. They almost cut through the pancreas, which could give you a neurological type one. You've got a pancreatic weakness. You've got a gallbladder weakness here. You want to get in there and fix that little hip 
little groin. Your appendix isn't real happy here, so you want to address that. A lot of inflammation, upper femur here again, kidney and adrenals. Kidney and adrenals. And now here, if it's a female, it's a vaginal wall. Josh, this is a male. Uh, lower back a little bit here, my friend. There's a little weakness in the thyroid gland there. I see a little darkness to that, so I want to be careful there that you don't break down that thyroid a little bit there. A little parathyroid involvement as well. Again, here's pituitary up in the brain area. You see, these will start working their way in your genetic line. They'll work their way deep into the brain here. And notice how these radius solaris go all the way down to the pupil. See that? That shows you this is genetic. These were the, in the embryo uh, stages here. This is, this is just a reflection uh, of the embryo turning into its own genetic uh, weaknesses here. And look at this darkness in the stomach. Uh, I don't like your stomach here. You want to fix that stomach up and uh, get that uh, cleaned up there. You got a little deterioration, it looks like, getting burnt there. So you either have low hydrochloric acid, stay away from proteins. Again, on the left side, we're looking at groin, we're looking at big kidneys and adrenals here on this side. Uh, up in here, a little prostate probably. A lot of lymph in the uh, bladder area. Here's lower back, big time. Those two dark areas of the back, all this, this thick sulfur up in the brain area. Here's a little deterioration wanting to happen up in your brain area, so upper circuit brain and nerve. Over here, we got the mastoid cerebellum involvement. So you have a perfect setup for Lou Gehrig's or MS or one of those. You really do. You have the perfect setup for that, so be careful. Strengthen, strengthen. Upper circuit brain and nerve, get into the kidneys, start moving your lymph system, address your lymph nodes. You know, go after as uh, we've talked about. More. They keep coming. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. Let me grab this one. Wow. Did a good job here, uh, my friend. That is nice. I am also trying to help Dad. Yeah, losing his memory. And, you know, there's, there's nothing worse than seeing your loved ones losing their memory and going through this these conditions. I know exactly where you're coming from, my friend. Here, I don't have time to see. The eyes belong to my mom. She has had sleeping problems since decades. She wakes up at 1.30, da 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 I get a lot of times. Mom is often worried and can't calm her mind down. Now, unfortunately, she has a lot to deal with. Her dad, her husband has Alzheimer's. Uh, that's sad. That, that, that's horrible when you have to deal with that sort of thing. So on and on and on here. So let's take a look at these eyes. And it becomes quite obvious what color of eyes we're looking at. Blue. Now, exactly blue. Look at the thick thick lymph building up in her body here. And this has an orangish flare to it, so I'm going to have to tell you there's a real strong probability this is a combination of heavy lymph and sulfa drugs. Real probability. Uh, yeah, you just really have to have, I'd have to have them in the clinic with a good, you know, a deeper camera, but it really looks like it really is. You also have some iodine, it looks like here, some iodine deposits. A lot of people are on iodine supplements and stuff, and you can see here that your body isn't metabolizing that level of iodine, so it becomes toxic to you. This is your left eye. You have a serious kidney weakness here on the left side. Uh, forgive me, guys. I don't pull any punches when I go over the eyes, so forgive me, but you want to address this serious kidney weakness right here. It's a deterioration of that kidney. Uh, the, lymph no the adrenal gland is thick with iodine, sulfur, and lymph, chronic your, your, your bowel is, is uh, ballooned out. You have a weakness in the groin here, a lot of pressure in the groin and hip here. But this thick lymph, you have to get this out and get this kidney filtering. But you can see why this kidney is so weak that uh, you're probably not filtering much at all. This is your lower ankle. Heavy lymph in the legs, you have to worry about legs swelling up and all kinds of things that way. Uh, this is the prostate or uterus. A lot of inflammation in that area. So we have some uh, lower back here, mostly mid-back, however. Maybe a little throat, maybe a little bit of parathyroid right there. Look at this pituitary gland. That's chronic. So you want to look at that. 
that's going to sit down on this thyroid and parathyroid gland. Over here, this is the mastoid medulla area. So there's a lot of inflammation in the back of the neck, in the ear area, in the mastoid area, which can definitely throw off your equilibrium dizzy, swinging blood pressures, things like this. You know, build up in your upper lobe of your, uh, well, it's, it's, it's almost in between the, the lungs area. Looking on this right side, uh, same, about the same, thick lymph up in the brain area, you want to detox that out of there. This is vital to this, and this is this lady's mother. And uh, this, is, this is a fair amount of work to get up in a brain area like this, and this is a big time issue. You want to get up there. Here's the equilibrium center. So this is a mother, probably older, so this is, this is an issue. Uh, this is her spine here. She's got some deterioration in the middle of her back. I can't see here with the reflection, but you've got, looks like the same in the lower lower back. Here's more kidney, more chronic adrenal. Yeah, what do you think? See, that looks like, I can't see there a reflection or something, dude. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I can't see. I can't see it either. No. Now, here's a little deterioration in the right hip. Thick, thick lymph in the pancreas, so be real careful that doesn't form a tumor. Uh, a little bit of gallbladder going on there. This is in the bowel wall. You got to get in the bowels and clean this up. A little stomach going on here. This is up in your uh, ear, your right ear, and your right neck area, your right uh, medulla or mastoid area. So, got some work to do. Got some work to do to get this out of here. Get those eyes all blue. They're all blue eyes, and you got to get all this orangey, browny stuff out of there, and you'll be good to go. How long would you say spend on GI broom? Well, you know, I think this person's going to be on the GI broom for a while. Right. You several months. Everybody should be on for several months that has chronic GI problems. And as we were talking about when we had the, the, the case interruption here, um, sometimes you need it to help pull throughout the body. Because remember, some of those herbs are going to be absorbed, and they are perfect for lymph nodes and stuff. So it can be a win-win situation for people that are on those. Right, age 22 year old female. I only see one eye, honey. Uh, let me see, I would like to post a question. Let me see here if I'm going uh, to be spot on my wide range of problems. She seems like she has a lot of problems here. Uh, why am I feeling so terrible since I'm early age? I've been uh, bulimic for a long time, vegetarian since 13. On and off, uh, vegan, uh, sigan, uh, eating only fish as animal source. Uh, sigan, I never heard that. Uh, last few years, vegan since last year, I'm 22. A healthy, high carb vegan since a few months ago, throwing up now and again. And last few days, raw, low vegan, a low fat vegan with lots of fruit and a variety of vegetables and no bulimia. Ah, uh, Isabel, you're doing good, sweetheart. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I must say, brown. Brown? I, I'm just okay. By, just by Let's looking. Take a look. All right, I'm enter the light. Enter <laughs> the light. Let's <laughs> take a Drew. look. Oh, Drew. Uh, oh, Drew. Uh, oh, Drew. All right. That's not brown. <laughs> oh, Drew. And oh, Isabel. <laughs> Isabel. Look at there, Isabel. No brown. There's, there, yeah, this is no a blue brown. eye, Isabel. Look at the blue in between the nerve rings here. Here's our nerve rings. See these nerve rings, guys? There's blue underneath there. Isabel, did you have blue eyes when you were born, Isabel? Because that's what that looks like to me. That's not light brown in there. That's blue. Your skin's down. The reason you see such chronicness, sweetheart, your kidney and skin is down. Both your, your skin is down. You have a large skin ring and your kidneys aren't filtering. You don't have bad kidneys. They're just not filtering here. You got good genes, sweetheart. Your nervous system's down. That means your adrenals are down. You got a spot up in the head. Well, that could just be an eyelash, see? That is the problem with these eyes. You have to be real careful because that looks like an eyelash, but it could be a spot in the brain. I, it looks like an eyelash, though. Uh, here we go into the throat area. Uh, this looks more like the thyroid, so I think there's a little thyroid going on here. But your nervous system's down. It might be why you feel so the way you're feeling. Uh, you look like your strong gene, GI tract problems. You want to get in there and clean that up little prolapsing of the transverse bowel, but not bad. You're just thick, you're just thick with lymph everywhere. 
Now this could be orange, it has like an orangey hue to it, this could be sulfur. That would make you gassy bloaty, that would create high fungal problems, that would create uric acid levels, high uric acid levels, things like this. But you've got some good genes here, you really got to dig in and get your eyes uh, back. But those are blue eyes. I don't see any brown uh, in that uh, there except out in here. And that's all lymphatic. So basically, you're, you have inflammation head to toe, basically. And your skin is down and your kidneys are down and you're just backing up, backing up with sewage. But you've got pretty good genes. That'll take, you, that'll take you to Wellville a lot quicker, sweetie. So you just got to dig in and get your lymph moving. But neurological weaknesses abound. So that could affect a lot of things. It can affect how everything functions. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there somebody else can help her? That's what I'm going to see. Yeah? I'm going to see. Would you take a break? I'll do this. Help me, but it'll be a different system than you do it. Should I just do it Elizabeth's way? Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter the system. Yep. You're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have different two different eyes here again. Okay. So let's go over these real quick. Let's see what they say here a little bit. First of all, thanks. Me and my cousin live in the UK and we've been on a detox diet for a good few weeks now. Sam, my cousin, discovered it when he was diagnosed with diabetes type 1. Okay, so here's a type 1 here, and now he no longer has to inject. Isn't that cool? Oh, really? There's a awesome. good one right there, guys. This guy has been working on himself. He was a type 1. He no longer has to inject insulin. So look at that. He introduced it to me, and I am slowly recovering from severe chronic fatigue and brain fog, which meant I had to quit my job. But through your videos, I'm gradually realizing that this is not an isolated health problem for me. I remember my lymph nodes swelling up when I was 10 years old. <coughs> Isn't that amazing? These guys, these young guys like this are smart. They, they, they've been suffering, and, they, and you know, this is relating. So this is good. This is Joe and Sam. Perfect. Right. Nice job. Yep. So I'm trying to figure out. All right, Joe is the blue eyes, mm -hmm. so Sam must be the brown. Mm -hmm. Well, these are brown eyes, as far as I can tell. I don't see any, any reason to see blue in there, so these are definitely brown eyes. Now, let's take a look over here. This is the right side of the body, and on the right side of the body, around 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, 7, 8, 9, up in that area, you've got the gallbladder, the pancreas, you've got the, uh, the hip and everything else, and that's just the, the eye we just looked at. Here you've got that same makeup right here. You've got pancreas, hip, gallbladder. So you want to really get in there and take care of these with herbs and stuff. A very important a little bronchial trunk weakness. Now... We're getting toward the cerebellum. This is up in the mastoid cerebellum area. Want to be real careful there with equilibrium, lightheadedness, and stuff like this. Possible pituitary right there. We get down here, you're a little lower back going on from these kidneys, but look at that kidney, my friend. Sam, you got real-time kidneys here. you got to fix that. There's your femur going into your hip, too. So your genetics is somebody lost their kidneys. From that, they lost their hip and, and, and upper part of their leg. So you, you've got to fix this. This is your upper femur going into your hip. You want to fix that. You're too young to have this problem. And then you've got your kidneys. You've got your, pri your male area, your prostate. So this is a big area. Somebody in your family had these genetic problems, and now you're stuck with them. So you want to regenerate this and not be stuck with them, especially before you have children, because these are advanced weakness. See how dark and deep these holes are? Almost looks the eye we, we just did. They're very deep. Very deep. Yeah. This is very deep. Yeah. Now we get over onto the left side of the body, a little better, but we're still seeing an upper femur and a hip going on here on this side as well. We see a chronic adrenal, kidneys much better. This could be rectal, so you want to be careful there. The rectum in there is weak. Uh, this is prostate, so uh, you've got some work to do on your lower, lower burner there. Uh, here's uh, your back, lower to mid back here, maybe a little upper back. I think this is tonsil area here. This is up in the ear area, left ear moving up to your uh, back of your neck. There's a little prolapsus of the transverse bowel. What time we got? Nine. What time is it? 12.30. 12.30. Oh, okay. So let me yeah. go over this one. We'll finish up on this one. Okay. I'll come back yeah. and then we'll finish these up a little bit. So that's for Sam. This is Joe. I think this is Joe. Yep. 
The blues. Yep, the blues. Nice. Blue eyes are definitely easier to read. There's no question about that because they're lighter and everything. You don't have to mess with lights and stuff. But Well, Joe, look at the skin ring. Look at this skin ring. What else do we see right off? Another ring. And this is the bow ring. This is your, they call it the autonomic nerve wreath in iridology. I'm an iridologist that disagrees with that. I consider if you have a weakness, you see the problem. When you don't, you don't see the problem. It's that simple in the eyes. When your autonomic nervous system's down, the one thing you see is nerve rings. This is your bowel wall, not the autonomic nervous system. This is your bowel wall. The autonomic nervous system feeds into that wall, but you, when your autonomic is down, you see it through nerve rings. This is thick length in your gut wall. Got a minor prolapse, and your bowel looks pretty nice, actually, above average, I would say. This is a good gene person, so this is a, a strong gene person. But look at how that eye is a little out of round. Notice that? A little out of round, or is that just me? If that's the case, then I would want to look at connective tissue. And connective tissue would be parathyroid, and I see a faint little parathyroid weakness. There's so much lymph there. All this white, yellowish stuff is thick. Look at the, thick, the lymph in your forehead. Real thick up in there. You want to get all this mucus out, and that's why your sinuses run right here. This is getting up into the cerebellum mastoid, so be careful there. Uh, about the same over here. Here we have, this is the pineal gland a little bit, so that would be insomnia or sleep problems. Here you have a little pituitary and pineal gland weakness in the right side. Not too bad, but enough. you got to get up and fix that a little bit. Here again, adrenals. Kidneys don't look too bad, but your adrenals are the issue here. Here's another little leg weakness, not too bad. A little hip here. Uh, a, little, a little gallbladder, a, a little gallbladder, maybe a little pancreas, but that's little stuff. You can fix that up. You want to get your skin opened up and start breathing and open up all this mucus out of here. Clean, the, clean this up because you're malabsorbed. This is a malabsorption ring. This is thick lymph in the bowel wall. That gives you like colitis, enteritis, uh, Crohn's. All of those things is what you see as an end product of heavy lymph stagnation in the gut wall. IBS, leaky gut, all of that's coming with this uh, thickened lymph bowel wall. And you can imagine this is all acids and burning you. Malabsorption. Mm -hmm. Malabsorption big time. Yeah. But good genes. Yeah. So Joe, you got great genes here. Your buddy's a little weaker, but no reason you can't get after that. But again, he was hit a lot in the digestive area. Well, digestion is the first phase of being healthy. And again, I think there's a little out of around. It could be just genetics, but it does suggest connective tissue, and there's a little parathyroid. Think about working on that. The uh, pituitaries could also sit down on the parathyroid, so strengthen that. Uh, this looks like left hip. So there is a, a little bit of deterioration or going to be in that left, left hip if you're not careful. Okay. All right, so do we want to finish up after lunch, or do you want to, because this is going to be a long one, we want to come back. You know, I've got three more here, and then these are very old. Yeah, let's, let's get to them as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Let's All right. see how your uh, afternoon looks. Okay. All right. Let's see how my afternoon looks, guys. Okay. And do you, we'll... you want to say anything real quick before we close yeah, this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, though. Good job. They're all nice. Yeah. I love the photos that they're submitting. Yeah. Like, they I mean, they're it. doing super good. I want to know how some of them actually take their photos. I don't know. Are they using their really phone? Good job are they using those. a camera? <laughs> You're really? doing super good, guys. Super good. You never let anything, if you see a marking in your eye that goes, ooh, because that's what happened to me. When I first got my eye pictures, I, I was so disappointed I couldn't believe it. I don't have strong genes like that. I have weak genes. And it's like, oh my God. I've never felt weakness. I've always been a strong, burly farm boy. I've never had any problems that way, but I can feel them. Here and there, when you don't eat right, you can feel your weaknesses. So you get in and you keep working to rebuild them. That's all there is to it. Well, you're doing an awful good job of it. All of you have done so well. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I know some of you are struggling. Well, you just have to work yourself out of this. You work yourself out of this and you're on your way home. Because you're going to be grow spiritually doing this. You're going to become more awake, more alive, more happy. Because you have to separate yourself from your bodies. 
Remember, your physical body, you're just using it. It isn't you, you're using it. And it comes through a long genetic lineage. So you don't beat yourself up. This is all in your journey. God put you in this body for the for to learn the lessons that you're learning. So you learn them. I got it. I get it. I'm going on. I'm getting healthy. I don't need to live in my lessons from the past. I don't need to live in the future. I need to live in the moment and enjoy everything now. So I love you guys. You take care. And we will finish these up as soon as we can. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.